Apollo, uh, we, we, we don't actually call ourselves the, the GraphQL company. You know, we didn't right. invent GraphQL after all. Um, but one of our slogans is that we call ourselves the, the data graph company. And that's because we, we think there's a ton of value in um, having a schema, having a, a, a unified, coherent graph of all the data in your organization yeah. um, so that people can coordinate and work independently on you know, different products and features mm -hmm. uh, without being blocked on the back end teams, building another REST endpoint, and so on and so forth. So this idea of the, the data graph that you know, lives somewhere in the sky um, <laughs> is, is really you know, foundationally important to what we're doing. And in that context, a uh, GraphQL client it sort of becomes responsible for um, replicating a small part of, of that data graph, whatever part of it the user is interacting with on the client side. So it's not going to be the whole thing. You know, right, you, don't, yeah. you don't want to pull down your entire data graph. Um, but it is going to need to be actually more like graph-like in terms of like nodes and edges um, than GraphQL itself, where the, the result objects that you get back, it's always a, a tree, you know, something you could easily serialize to JSON and back. Right. Um, and so the job, as I see it, of Apollo Client is to, you know, help you make GraphQL requests, send queries to the server. But then when the results come back, they get sort of ingested into an internal representation that looks more like your, your data graph. It yeah. has entity objects and they have fields and they can refer to each other, you know, even in, in cycles. Um, and the upshot of all of that is that if you have a faithful replica of a small subset of your data graph on the client, then the client can respond to a wide variety of flexible dynamic queries that your application might want to issue. Um, as long as the data is there on the client, it doesn't yeah. have to go to the server. Right, right, right. Um, and so that kind of flexible domain specific caching approach, um, I think will allow people to build, you know, richer client side applications that in a lot of cases are, you know, able to re-render themselves without having to fetch new data from the server. So that's, that's the overarching goal of a, a GraphQL client, I think.